So David, welcome to Wiston House. Can you just give us a bit of an overview of the topic of this workshop? Okay, so the workshop's entitled Coordinating Cell Polarity and it's basically bringing together developmental biologists to actually talk about how in developing tissues cells coordinate their polarity. <laughs> and so you've brought together um, not only people working on different animal model systems but also a lot of plant developmental biologists and then also a bunch of mathematical modellers. What do you hope to get out by bringing this fairly diverse group of people together? Well, the problem we felt was that actually there were a lot of people working on plants and they were working on this, a lot of people working on animals working on this, and actually it started to look to us like there might actually be similar underlying principles. Or maybe there aren't similar underlying principles, but we actually felt unless we actually got them together in the same room and made them talk to each other, this wasn't going to work. And then if we thought we brought in some modellers, then they would actually tell us we were all right or all wrong and something would emerge from it. But without actually getting people together, we didn't think we didn't know what would emerge because they really have been separate parallel communities and we wanted to sort of break that down at yeah. least once. So how do you feel like the, the format of this workshop encourages that discussion between these groups of people who don't necessarily talk to each other normally? I think basically if you get them in the same place and you give them lots of food and drink and they can't go anywhere else, then basically they have to interact. And I don't see any alternative to doing it <laughs> this way. So I find this meeting has been fabulous. Um, one thing that this meeting is different from others is that it really considers that the scientist is a human being. So we have a beautiful place to be in, there's art, there's you know, a beautiful landscape. And I think even the weather has conspired uh, in a good way, because it's been sunny, it's been wonderful. Yes. Of course, I'm a plant biologist, but uh, having the perspective from the animal scientist is also uh, very interesting. And uh, what I like about it is that you can compare different concepts in the different kingdoms, so from that I learned a lot. Discussions over dinner and drinks has been great, so we've just been a very open atmosphere to discuss ideas and, and also un together the heart of what is polarity. There's all these big names that you always hear about in the field. You finally get to meet them in a nice sociable setting, which has been lovely. OK, Nick, so how do you feel the meeting's gone? So, far better than I could have possibly imagined. Great. Really. <laughs> it's always a risk when you organise a meeting with so many different types of people coming along and you worry that people will separate off into their silos, their disciplines, uh, the types of systems they work mm -hmm. on. And it's just not happened even from the start of the meeting. Everybody's been interacting with people I imagine they don't interact with very often. Talking about things they probably don't talk yep. about very often in, in terms of the biology. So it's been fantastic in terms of the interaction. And so, you've, as you said, you've brought together people who don't often uh, talk to each other and particularly bringing together the plant developmental biologists with the animal developmental mm -hmm. biologists. Do you feel that they've sort of helped to cross-fertilise ideas across these fields about how polarity might work? Definitely. Or certainly, maybe not about how it works because the details are so different in, in the plants and mm -hmm. animal systems. But where I think it's been interesting is in terms of the, the problems associated, the broad problems yep. about how you generate and coordinate polarity, that um, very often if you're in a subject-specific meeting, then you focus on the details, the molecular yep. details, genetic details. Because you're here, you're talking in, in mixed sessions where people are, are, are you're into intermingling plant talks and animal talks, so yep. the mechanisms are completely different, the molecules are completely different, so you really have to focus on the principles. And so we, we started out the meeting with a discussion session where we framed, in fact, quite a lot of important questions in the field um, at, at that quite conceptual level. Do you feel like the talks that have been presented here have really helped to address those questions and we're getting further along? That's interesting because I think what we've actually managed to do, I don't think we've answered any of the questions. Yep. There, was some, there was maybe a couple that were, were fairly straightforward, like, like what is the definition of polarity, where we've had useful discussion on exactly what we mean. Although so, some disagreement no, still. <laughs> so, so there's still disagreement, but at least people are accepting that when I use these words, I should maybe be a little more precise yep. and, and not... It, it's very easy to fall into to sloppy use of certain words, yep. which can be fine within discipline because everybody just knows by osmosis how everybody else uses it. But then when you talk across communities, you realise that you're using the word polarity in different ways or, yep. or, or various yep. things like that. So I think those questions we have... We've made some progress on, sure, there's yep. still, still disagreement, which yep. is not to be expected. I think the big questions are still really open, and yeah. I, don't, I, I wouldn't say we've got any answers to them. I think what we have got is inspiration from, from other disciplines as to, as to how we might 
start, you know, continue to tackle those questions yeah. in, in our own systems. And perhaps also how they should be framed mm -hmm. in terms of sort of what yeah. the concepts we should use to address those questions yeah. are. Yeah, so I think that, that has been, there has been progress on that front, but I, I, I think I'd be overstating the case <laughs> if I said that we'd really solved these big questions. That's good, it means there's still plenty to do. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. There's plenty of scope for more at these meetings. So I, I hadn't known very much about plant de development, and now I've learned a huge amount, and I see we face many of the same problems in the field of, of um epithelial morphogenesis and planar polarity as, as they do, and we can really benefit from thinking about common approaches, um, both theoretical and technical. Right, to me, uh, the mest, main uh, take-home message is the, the, that polarity is confusing, and uh, that, uh, I mean, uh, so everyone has its own definition, but uh, it, this workshop actually helped me to clarify some of the definitions and to distinguish between uh, axialization and polarization, for instance. And uh, now I guess I have a better, uh, I guess, understanding of the, the wider concepts behind the uh, variety establishment. So my PhD project doesn't involve around cell polarity per se. However, it's a central part of it, or it's an important part of it. And uh, I felt like in this point of my PhD, I really needed to grasp more information about it. And now after I came here, I could really, I learned everything about it more, more or less. And I saw all the people that I read their papers, basically, and I got to talk with them. So now I can go back to the lab and all the questions that I had in my mind are now answered and I can carry on my project in much a clearer way. So I think the most important thing is how we have to keep our eyes open to other systems. Because what I realize here that we're all detectives and we have part of the information only, but by sort of you know, looking at all like, the big picture of evolution of biology, we really can help each other try to, in this case, try to understand what's the compass that cells have to understand polarity and tissue polarity. Probably the most important thing for me, which I'm going to take back, is that I want to come to the next CAB workshop if I can, because uh, I came, this is my second one, and it seems I'm just chasing the company biologists who are keeping pace with my future interests, and it turns out that the next meeting is exactly what um, one of the new things I've become interested in.